welcome to the Clashing of Steel. And so today I am playing Hashtruple once again. Although my main focus in this match is on my spear units. I do like the idea of Hashtruple, I like what he brings to the table. Although sad to say Carthage units aren't that strong, the commanders are interesting and uh, with perhaps a bit more defensive or offensive units, they could be something incredible. I mean, I like the idea of Hashtruple. You can buff your friendlies or yourself, and you can debuff your opponents. While of course, at the same time, having a mobility charge. But in today's match, I probably don't get to play him as I always want to play my units. Well, I never get to play my units as I would like to play them. I am always defending somebody. Well, okay, there are these matches occasionally where I'm not defending anybody, but you get the idea. Everything that I plan will usually never happen. And seeing that I have to defend two ranged players, this is incredible. And of course, so is the fire that they wasted in this pointless location. In this specific match, it is, well, notable how defensive the opponents are playing. You can see most of them holding to their own territory and perhaps even doing a retreat. Most of them don't want to deal with us and they seem to be kiting us. Perhaps they are a bit more scared of the javelins and the archers. Javelins are an incredible tool. If they are well defended and used against right opponents at the right locations, they can wreak havoc like no other unit. With just a couple of throws and whatever you're facing may die. But now comes my turn to shine. To be useful in right location, I sometimes even don't need to do any damage. I just need to be there as a force of uh, danger, force to reckon with. And this is the moment. Enemy horsemen and my spears. They're running away and friendly horsemen are going after them. They're weakening them and they're actually winning. The moment when opponents are trying to run, that is the moment when you want to inflict the most amount of damage. Because that is the moment when they most likely won't damage you back. Okay, there is an exception about phalanx moving backwards, but in any other cases, swordsmen, horsemen, anything that tries to run away, that is an excellent thing to damage. And uh, even if the support gets close, they are forced to run, run away once again, or they're forced to fight. Either way, situation is good for your team or for yourself. But it also requires teamwork. You just can't go there and uh, expect for somebody to beat someone if you don't support them. This right here, that I did like half a minute ago, that was just to show them that we have the overwhelming force and we have the dominating units. And they realized it, and they realized the mistake they made. But as it is usually with uh, most mistakes, there is also a penalty for it. For a mistake, you get punished. You don't just recover from it, unless it's a rather soft mistake you're making. But okay, back to the match. So my elephant's been roaming about, doing some damage, walking around, not really wanting to deal with the pikemen. And I've been defending the javelins and archers. So, as usually, my focus with elephants is positioning. I'm not just gonna do something in a random location in hopes of doing some damage. I'm gonna be smart and use it tactically, especially the stomp. You don't want to interrupt your friendlies, but then again, these guys got routed, so I might as well should have gone there in full force. But I just don't want to take the risk with the pikemen. The pikemen are quite heavy counter for the elephants actually. Germanicus is something of a light counter and well catapult is also something of a heavy counter. Fortunately that shot missed me and that as well and not so lucky with that one. So opponents have actually been rather defensive but we forced them to leave from the forest to disengage we dealt with meat, or we're actually still dealing with it. We are quite uh, heavily managing it under catapult fire. But fortunately, ranged units stayed behind me, and so some support 
was given to these units fighting here in the middle. Even actually me, considering that the javelins killed the pikemen. Personally, that is one of the best use I have gotten out of the javelins in most matches. Killing pike or spearmen. Something that is usually hard to deal with. But still, we have managed it rather well. Opponents also have javelins, but they have been on defensive and... If they would have been here, down here where the action was, they might have made all the difference destroying our infantry, perhaps more specifically my infantry, removing the defense of the ranged units. But then again, now is coming the time where their defense is going to be their undoing. They have mostly been defensive on this specific location, and the big problem with that is that their javelins have also been defensive. And these important ranged units have wasted themselves by being stationary at that horrible spot in mass, actually. Seeing as there is infantry, handlers and javelins. Also the catapults, of course. Oh, that was heavy. Yeah, that, that's what the javelins can do when they shoot you in the back. If you do not plan to engage javelins, do not go forward and do not turn back. Never turn your back to the javelins. There are a few exceptions, of course, but if you're near them, if you're going close to them, and, uh, well, if you can outnumber their units, you might actually do something, you might force them to run or anything like that. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to go close, and then you don't want to turn back suddenly and get surprised when you suddenly just lose your unit. I myself usually don't play javelins. But I'm willing to defend other players who try to play javelins correctly. Not going overly aggressive and uh, going in like most naive players. So now that we are bringing down this last bastion of, uh, well, hope. We can be proud of ourselves. Javelins did a great job, also the archers actually. Unfortunately, opponents weren't defending the side that we forced from. If they would have had unit of javelins or catapult support or anything down in the forest, they might have halted or slowed us down remarkably. They might have taken the mead or the cliffside. And now my elephant of course is gonna take a pounding. So this match can actually show that the defense might not always be the best option. Our team also wasn't that aggressive and was very careful of what they were doing. And because there was no offense, we were capable of using offense ourselves to push through from one side, aid the mid, and finally destroy this last bastion of hope. And of course my elephant survived, that is, well, I mean, he can't be used anymore because he will most likely die on first contact, but at least they didn't kill him. So the match is pretty much over, and let's take a look at the scope. As it can be seen, I didn't do that well. I mean, I was rather useful. I was able to defend the ranged units. I was able to, well, push opponents away. I was able to scare them. And perhaps I was even able to do some offense. But actually, being very useful may not be seen in your score. If you defend ranged units, that doesn't mean that anyone will try and engage you. The ranged units might try to kill other ranged units, or so, you might just be there as a precaution. Nobody might want to even deal with you. But that doesn't mean you weren't useful. Like in this match, I was very useful when we tried to take the forest and when we tried to take the mid. Up in the north there, when we were at the catapult, that is where my usefulness basically ended. And as it can be seen from the scoreboard. The best players in my team were the Javelins. They earned that score thanks to my aid, although I didn't get basically anything for it. I was just there as a wall to keep opponents away. But okay, let's take a look at the opposing team. Their Javelins didn't do much, although they tried to be useful. Perhaps the biggest problem was their horsemen, which could have rammed me or perhaps even the ranged units from the rear if they would have stayed alive long enough. But sadly, they made little difference. So we also have the pikemen, which were dealt decisively by the javelins that got the first place in my team. That was an excellent task, by my opinion. 
And the best in the opposite team, of course, is the catapult. A nasty piece of work that probably got half of its score, well, maybe not half, but one third, one fourth of my dying elephant. So being defensive doesn't always pay off. Especially if you don't have enough troops to be defensive in certain locations. You don't have enough support, you don't have enough units. As it was with the forest where me and my ranged units pushed. Although, thinking back, it was a horrible idea that I was alone defending the ranged units. If they would have forced us with numbers, I might have not been able to deal with everything they threw at me. Or at least everything they could have thrown. Well, this was it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.